Why hello there and welcome back to my channel. A while back I did a video saying that you could get a graphics card for three dollars. Today we're going to be taking a look at said graphics card and here it is. It is the HD 6450 made by AMD, the brand that uh, is marketing this particular card is Lenovo. They are meant for Lenovo workstations as I got them off of a server and computer parts website. I was kind of expecting it to be surplus stock from some sort of OEM system and that's exactly what came in. So what actually comes on the HD 6450? It's not a great card by any means, however it can play some games most suited for 900p gaming and the HD 6450 is based off of a 40 nanometer fab, so it's a little bit older of a card, but that's to be expected for $3. <laughs> All right, and it has a core clock of 625 megahertz, which isn't a lot, and it has 160 stream processors, which is not really a lot either. However, one thing that's very nice about this card is it overclocks very well, and in fact, I managed to get the overclock to around 775 megahertz on the core clock without it uh, breaking the graphics drivers. Anyhow, for the actual benchmarks, I did not overclock it at all, so you're just seeing the raw performance numbers. Also, as far as your graphics memory, unfortunately this particular variant only has 1 gigabyte of DDR3. I know they do come with 1 gigabyte of DDR5 if you get the consumer grade one, but this is not consumer grade, unfortunately. Anyhow, so let's take a look at how to install this thing if you've never installed a graphics card. Quick tutorial, only it'll take a minute. Stick around. Alright, for installing your graphics card, you'll see that if you have a low profile computer, that is perfectly fine. However, I don't have a low profile computer, so you are going to have to remove this bracket on here and as you can see I'm pointing out some of the screws that you need to remove. Two of them are going to be on your HDMI port and the other one is right there and you just remove that faceplate and you'll be able to put the uh, graphics card in whatever computer you desire. And as you can see I have a full slot graphics card in there right now so I'm just going to be taking that out, unplug the power, take the screw out as well, I suppose if you're putting in a $3 graphics card, you probably don't have a graphics card in there right now, so there you go. Just take that out, put in the new one, slot it in like so, and that's really about it for installing graphics cards. It's that easy. There's no power connection, there's no nothing. Just that easy. All right, it's benchmarking time. Counter-Strike Global Offensive at 900p on the medium preset, we have an average frame rate of around 31 frames per second, which is perfectly playable. And with a maximum frame rate of 37, it gets up there a little bit, and a minimum frame rate, it never actually drops below 21 frames per second. And if you pardon my god-awful aim here, it's actually pretty playable. And yep, there we go, and Skyrim 900p on the high preset actually looks pretty darn good. This is about what you'd get on a console, if not a little bit better. And we're getting an average frame rate of 55 frames per second, even when we're using our particle effects and burning people. Heh, <laughs> burning people, yes. Anyhow, we have a maximum frame rate of 61 frames per second, which is pretty awesome. And once again, the minimum is right around 20 frames per second, but it doesn't ever drop below there and it is quite playable for a $3 graphics card. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Maybe a Titan for $3, that would be pretty cool. But I don't think that's happening for another decade or so. Oh well, a man can wish, can't he? All right, and the next game that we're gonna be playing is, of course, Minecraft. These are going to be the settings we're gonna be using. If you have a $3 graphics card, maybe that you're gonna be playing this game because it's a classic. And to be honest, it really doesn't take much to play it. As you can see, the average frame rate, 55 frames a second with a maximum frame rate of 65, which is pretty good. And a minimum, it, it never drops below 35 frames per second, which is pretty awesome if you do ask me. Ah, finally lost that guy. Time to run off the edge. Whee! 
Well, I don't know if there's much else to say after that. It's a pretty decent card for what you pay for. I mean, you can't complain for three bucks. So if you need something slightly better than integrated graphics, well, there you go. If you need something that's a lot better than integrated graphics, save your pennies. It's probably not worth it. All right. Thank you folks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.